Welcome back guys to Hogwarts Legacy and I found a quest for Alohomora. I never noticed it in the quest log before now. It must have appeared after we after some of the quests we'd done. So we're gonna go there and I took the liberties of teleporting to the castle. And once we were Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Hello. Very interesting. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Revelia. This one took the form of a demigod. A demiguise. <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. What's in it for me? I don't want to get in trouble. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't need to put the... What the hell is this? You need to move the spark. Green spark. to do okay well done you're in remember use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you this is a restricted area of the castle after all can I go in any of the rooms too hello more Oh, peeves. Keep away from peeves. First of all, guy, let me see. Well, okay then. Turn additional moons, golden. Uh, oh, so the more moons we collect, the higher we can get our skill on that magic spell. Okay. Wait, I think I know how to do this. It starts from zero, right? Yeah. 
Hey, the first one's here, so it's 5, 13, the spider would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8? Yeah, yeah, 8. Zero with the owl. Oh. No, it's not an owl, is it? Wait, oh, what's this one? Ah, uh, that'd be two, three, it's five, so nine, which is. God, you can distract them. I just completely forgot about that. Totally forgot about the fact that you could distract them. Guess we can have a bit more of an interesting adventure here now, because we can access places we couldn't before. Very interesting. He come back or is he? The fuck spying on the professors, are we? God damn it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. But does that mean we haven't done Potato. That's not what I want. I mean, I gotta go through these again. No, I think we're good. Oh, the key's there already. Yeah, get in. Yeah. Caught me! It caught me again while I was pick locking. <laughs> oh damn! Can I um? Wait a minute, there's lots of wigs in here. If you guys would like me to write, read these kind of pieces of paper, um, let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Um, 
I'm not the greatest of reading out loud, but uh, I'll give it a go for you guys if that's what you want. Not a, not a huge issue. Anyway, Tonic. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Haha, <laughs> he's upside down. Wait. They're all upside down. Why are they all upside down? Oh, shit. That kind of looks like, um, Lord Farquaad. <laughs> it really does. Where'd he go? Coddled cake flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. You say Matilda. I name Matilda. Matilda Weasley. That was Weasley, right? I think it was. I don't know what trickery are you up to, prefects. That's what they are, that's why they're in here, they're prefects. Good try. I'm actually pretty good at sneaking. Red light mail gets solid. Although, the Metal Gear Solid games on PC are not the greatest. Like, they're playable, don't get me wrong. But as an original PlayStation user, the the they don't use the uh, pressured buttons anymore, and having an extra button to do aiming instead of holding the button lightly, it feels wrong to me. <laughs> it feels wrong to me in Metal Gear Solid. It really does. So I find it very difficult to play those games now. Hey. The teachers are gone. And keyboard and mouse. No, guess I three keyboard and mouse. Uh. Uh. Not because the key combinations are shit, but because the mouse is shit. You can't do minor, minor movements with the mouse to aim. Can't do them. Game just doesn't pick them up. It's just. It's terrible. I know where you're going. I know where he's going. We can do it. Oh wait, is he going to that one? He's going to that one. But he's gonna see me. You went upstairs? He's an idiot! And now he's spinning on the spot! <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm surrounded by idiots.
Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, that deals with him. <laughs> oh, but there's a, there's, a, there's a teleport thing upstairs to get in here. I must admit, this is very cool. I'm enjoying this way too much. Oops. How am I supposed to get... Wait. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Very interesting. Hello, Mora. I'm enjoying this game way too much. Oh. I'm enjoying this game way too much. Wait a minute. I wasn't told to go upstairs before, but now if I go upstairs... Can I, um... Oh. Yeah. Ah. So these... He's still stuck on the fucking stairs! <laughs> What an idiot. Oh, that's gorgeous. Check that out. Oh, wow. Unicorn fountain. That's gorgeous. Well, I suppose I should begin my run now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but. Oh, no. Get out of here. Go on. <laughs> You shouldn't be here. <laughs> I will admit I am enjoying this game too much. Is there such thing? Like, is there such thing as enjoyment, too much enjoyment of something? I mean, I guess there is, because, like, it depends on what you're doing, really, isn't it? Because, like, you can enjoy something so much that you could actually physically hurt yourself, right? I want to go back upstairs. Get into that hospital wing. I was a finest. It's a 
Sneaking around the teachers. I like this. I really like this. Uh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and the flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. Those gonna disappear. Are they gonna go? Yes, they are gonna go. This hospital wing seems smaller. Rather unreliably or indeed despicably, the headmaster now wants to cancel Quidditch all because of pure blood redacted by. Damn! Before... So, a pure blood apparently is the reason for a Quidditch being stopped. So it wasn't Warner Brothers. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> I'm very disappointed though that they've added, they've done a separate Quidditch game instead of putting Quidditch into this. It could have been done. Like they could have put Quidditch into this and made Quidditch um um what what what's the What's the word I'm looking for? They do it in uh, MMOs a lot. Um, like a scenario, like a separate thing. Like an instance, instance based. So when you're playing Quidditch, it doesn't quite render the whole world. Like it doesn't render the whole world, but it doesn't quite render the castle. Fully, because obviously you're in Quidditch, right? So they could instance base it and only render the certain bits that are around the Quidditch pit, the Quidditch pitch initially, and they could have put Quidditch into this as an instance based event, like when you're in when you apply for Quidditch, it's in that instance. It should have been done. Should have been done, and. Rumour has it, another one of these games is being released, which uh, is being made, which is nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to do uh, the Pippin. <gasps> Shit, we were in Hogmead. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter. Ding! Chamber pot. <laughs> Ever too long. I didn't even see her! I need to get down that way because he's down at the bottom of the stairs. I need to go down this way. Oh, that was so close. Wait, we didn't go around this way before. Return to the quest area. Oh, okay. Okay. Stay in the quest area. That's fair. That is also out of the crossword area. We're down the other stairs then. Down we go. Oh, where's my man looking? He's there. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Perhaps Ranrog and Hislop wouldn't be so combative. But they all bathe together. Oh, that's weird. 
one of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Oh, I'm not afraid of a goblin medallion. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is. Hello, Amora. Where is he? There. I don't see how those can get harder, personally. This must be the oh shit, yeah. There was that shit the chest upstairs. That's why I went in my inventory. Yeah. Totally did, didn't even register. Oh, those are better. Didn't it didn't register. I'll oh, do get rid of them. Is that woman? Not here. Give me that. Oh yeah. Oh, Even though it's actually worse, but we get the look, right? Get the look. He's not here? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Avelia. Never saw that before. I didn't notice that last time. Jeweled encrusted tortoise shell. Oh. That's not where I want to go. I'm going to go down again. I like this sneaking around and unlocking shit. I, I like this. This is this is this is my thing. This is this is my thing. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Indeed. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. <laughs> but that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. I remember one being in the shop, one of the shops. Assistants. In Hogsmeade. The moons are only returning. I think it was in Hogsmeade. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Yeah, which means I can't get into the shops without Hello Mora. And. Uh, also, level of hello, more in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers, which technically should be a lot harder than it is, <laughs> right? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. That was very cool. I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Cats. Never trust cats in Hogwarts. Fact. Facts. Never trust the cat. Keep an eye on that. Never trust the cat. Hello, friend. 
I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? So many letters. Why is there so many letters?